2021 has finally arrived. And what's the better way? You can start coding, you can get motivated, and even you have a new chance to get famous on Instagram. If your current Instagram account has like this amount of followers, you aren't famous already. But we can change it to this amount. Maybe not in a week. Maybe it took, will take some longer time. But the cool thing about it, we will make it automatically. We will create in the following episodes an Instagram bot to get famous on Instagram. Cool. But firstly, we need to know how our browser works. How Selenium works because we need Selenium to create some bots. Let's get started. Yeah. If you're doing it with Chrome, I recommend you to do it with Chrome as well. Therefore, we need to open our Chrome to get the Chrome driver. What is the Chrome driver? The Chrome driver is an executable which we will use to open Chrome tabs for our bot to work in. Therefore, Open the settings in your Chrome. Click on this point, open the settings, and go about Chrome. There you will have a version. This version is important, so copy this version. It's like 87.0. Then we go to this link. I will link you in the description chromedriver.chromium.org. There you will see uh, the Chrome driver executables which you can download. We have the 87 version on my PC. And then, if we have a Windows system, download Windows. Otherwise, download for your system. I've already downloaded everything. And so we can start it. Make sure you're in your directory, there's the Chrome driver executable. Or if you will store it anywhere else, you need to adjust the path. We will use a path in there. And first, to get the Selenium, hit the pip install Selenium. Surprisingly, I already installed it, and so my requirements are already satisfied. And we are ready to go. Maybe put it to full screen. Yeah. And my requirements are satisfied, so we are ready to go. And we will import some common things, like from Selenium, we import wrap driver, the wrap driver is the instance of the Chrome we will open. Then we put in the selenium.repdriver.common and therefore we take buy and we import buy of it. Surprising. The buy version is uh, by from which we want to select. I will show you in the browser how a browser works and by which category we will select by XPath, by CSS, if this doesn't say anything to you right now, don't worry, I will, say, uh, I will explain it to you in this tutorial. Then, from selenium.repdriver.support.ui, yeah, we import repdriver rate. Repdriver rate is, as it says, our repdriver should rate for a UI element to load. Yeah, then we need from selenium.repdriver.support import accepted conditions as you see therefore we can write it much shorter and we also need the keys because we will send some keys in this these are your the keys you hit in like if you write code you put in the keys and we can simply use these keys in the browser of our bot that he can send the keys. And we need import time. Why we import time? Because we have multiple requests and if we will everything simply call it without a time in there, like a sleep time, the bot will make multiple requests within seconds and the website will see, oh, it's so fast, this can't be a human and will block us. Therefore, we put in time and we stay safe. And we make the class Instagram bot. We need an init function, surprisingly. There we will make a self browser. We make a new attribute where we will open our web driver.chrome. And in here, it's important to put the path to your Chrome driver executable. 
now we can make bot is equal to Instagram bot and is it's, as it's our init function we simply call it and it will open as a Chrome browser window. If it's working you set up everything in previous fine and we are ready to go further. Now I'm a fan of deleting all cookies because if we have the same cookies and over and over again Maybe the website will recognize us and we have a problem, but yeah, delete those cookies and it's good. And we can maximize our window like I'm a fan of working in full screen. This will take some time and we have a full screen. Yeah, really good. And now we will implement two custom functions, which will help us to get those elements of the website. Yeah. I will explain how they're working. We need to call them wait for object and wait for object. In here, we put in the self, a type, and a string. Now, and we return wrap driver wait. Like the wrap driver should wait, we get in the instance of our wrap driver which window should wait for what. We put in three seconds, and for what it should wait these three seconds until the presence of an element located and on which we will put in a type and a string the type will be by what it should be selected and a string it is what should be selected and now we can simply copy this function put it uh, under there again because this is only working if we have a unique object like if we put in a selector and get simply one object back but there's a possibility like classes which can give us back multiple um, multiple elements and therefore we need to make it working for multiple elements. And now here is important. We had the presence of element located and now we need the presence of all elements located. And as you see in here, we put in a tuple with type and string. This will help us later, but we need to initially implement them. I normally implement them anyway, anytime I work with Selenium because these functions will make it much more understandable how we are going on. Yeah, and then we make a simple get website. To see that we can do something. And in here we would, I can simply put in an URL and we can put in self.browser.get and get our website. I've prepared an example like uh, bot.get website and we go simply to Amazon. Where, where's the link? I put it in here like this. Put in the link and now we'll see what's happening. We open our new uh, Chrome browser window. It's getting in full size and we're going to Amazon. Now you see we have the cookies in here. Let's simply accept these cookies. That's the first step. It's looking like a button. And now to understand how the website is working, right click in your browser, click on this inspect. Sorry, because I have it in German. It's like a control shift L or right click inspect. Then you see everything of the website. Let's maybe get this out of here to have a full screen what is going on. Not like this. You don't see the other thing. But here, if you click on this, we see everything we hover about is we get the HTML code of it. And now we know websites are built in with HTML. And in here, you see the whole HTML of the website. Like here is this, here is the script. In there, you see the script. Here, you have your body. And, and and there's a diff and etc etc and now we want to locate this element if we click on it like this we see oh it's an input and it has an id id always a good thing because it's unique that we can simply double click on it copy the id out of here close this browser and now we want to accept those cookies how do we do that we take our browser uh, not our browser, I mean our 
first created uh, function and we make sure it's wait for object because we have a unique one. And in here, we put in by CSS selector. That we have an idea. Idea are in CSS selected with a hashtag. So we put in a hashtag and after that we put in the ID we copied from there. And we get this to a variable. I love it to put it in a variable because in the next window we can click it. Now let's have a look. If it's working fine, the cookies should be removed. Let's have a look. And the cookies are under there and they are away. No, we can simply look for something in Amazon. Therefore, we need to put in here something writing in it here and search for it. Can inspect again. And now we're looking for this input box. This input box has also an idea. Oh, I love Amazon for this. Easy as that. Now we close it. And yeah, let's make a new function. Let's call it search, put in self, and the search string. Let's go string. And then we put in here window is equal. I always overwrite this variable because for me everything is the window and here yeah, it's just fine we all also have an idea like we put in a hashtag put in this and this is our window and now we don't want to click the input we want to send some keys like window dot send keys yeah dot send underscore keys like this put in the search string and let's have a look at it Fascinating. I love it when this works automatically and we don't have to do anything. Then, yep, I forgot to call the method. Like, let's have a look. Put in bot.search and let's look for protein. It's always cool to look for protein. I love protein. Yeah. And is it working? Yeah, we have protein in there. And how do you search for it? We simply put in an enter. Now we don't want to do it manually, so we get it in here. Then we put the window and send other keys, and the keys are keys.enter, because with the keys we can send every key we have on our keyboard. And in here we make a time.sleep, because you will put in the search string, and if you put no time.sleep, it will in a millisecond or something like this execute the enter. And this is, I think, for human it's much too fast. So we will make some time.sleeps because the cool bots are always compared to humans. You must think how can he, how uses a human this website? And if we make our bot working as this, then no website will identify, oh, we are doing it with a bot and yeah like this and now we want to simply access the first element to see that we can go to it and hmm, let's take oops not like this we need the left one the left one to hover through it click on it and there we have a class cool to see now if we uh, hover through it and press Control F, you see, oh, there are 65 matches. So every of this container in here has the same class. But now that's a cool thing to mention. Now we see how the classes work. Now we make sure we make self dot wait for objects because we have multiple objects with the same CSS selector. And now it's a class. Class are always called with a point. Copy it in here, and we need to get rid of the spacing because the spacing means in the browser it has multiple classes. But if you call multiple classes with a CSS selector, we can get rid of the spacing and put a point instead here. Point, rid of the spacing, and we have now should have in there 65 objects. Yeah, and now we can simply access the first object with the zero. In the curly um in the norm in the error bracket and then we simply click it because if we click it we get to this 
beautiful product. Now, yeah, get this website, accept the cookies, put in the protein, and now we will access our first thing. And it's easy like that. To sum it up, we know, we know now how to use Selenium, how you install your Chrome driver, how to call your Chrome driver and make a new instance of Chrome with it. And you should have a bit of an understanding how this website is created, like how the HTML works in here, how we can get hover through different items in here, and what are IDs and what are classes. And if you understand this, in the next video, we will start with our Instagram bot. We will make it like some pictures of you, uh, of some other, some other Instagrammers. We will follow some Instagrammers and we will make it to unfollow some Instagrammers. Like there's a technique out there, many new Instagrammers use. They follow someone and some times later they will unfollow them again. And this we will make to get your Instagram account to this 800 million few, uh, followers and be more famous than Kim Kardashian. Hope you turn back in next time again. Yeah.